Blockchain is a distributed decentralized network that provides immutability, privacy, security, and transparency. There is no third party and central mechanism present to validate and verify the transactions, yet every transaction in the blockchain is considered to be completely secured and verified. This is done by the presence of the consensus protocol, which is a core part of any blockchain network. By consensus, we mean that a general agreement has been reached. In regards to blockchain, the process is formalized, and reaching consensus means that at least 51% of the nodes on the network agree on the next global state of the network. Firstly we met the proof-of-work consensus mechanism by means of Bitcoin, validators, also known as miners, hash the data they want to add until they produce a specific solution. But it's inefficient with slow transaction speeds and expensive fees, and has high energy usage. Secondly, in proof-of-stake, miners are more likely to win additional blocks if they have more money. For instance, Ether, in the case of Ethereum. In other words, proof-of-stake relies on proof of how much stake users have. Miners demonstrate that they have cash at stake by expending energy through proof of work. While its environmental credentials are more impressive because it uses less energy, the approach hasn't really been proven on the scale that proof of work platforms have. Let's think about an algorithm of validating blocks based on the node's past behavior and contributions. Thus blockchain keeps its decentralized nature while remaining secure and scalable. I'm Tony from KK Technologies. In this video, we will investigate the IOST ecosystem, which is aimed to be the underlying architecture for online services that meets the security and scalability needs of a decentralized economy. The acronym IOST is composed of the Internet of Service (IOS) and the word token T. The platform is intended for service providers and blockchain developers looking for a fast and reliable infrastructure. IOST is a smart contract network that allows dApps to be built on top of its consensus mechanism. Like Ethereum, users of IOST can create dApps and smart contracts on the network using several major programming languages. Developers can use Solidity and JavaScript to develop dApps for the IOST network. The system split its data and state into shards. Each node is responsible for one shard of the system. The transaction speed of many long-established protocols like the Ethereum blockchain is too slow to run valuable applications on it for mass adoption. With sharding, the main chain of each blockchain is supposed to remain unchanged as transactions run on so-called sub-blockchains. This increases speed and scalability. The proof of believability consensus splits validators into two main groups, believable and normal lead. Believable lead validators process transactions in the first phase. Afterward, normal nodes are able to ensure that the believable nodes are acting honestly. If a normal node catches a believable node acting dishonestly, that believable node will lose all of its tokens and its believability score will go back to zero. The number of earned survey tokens, IOST staked, positive reviews, and previous actions are used to determine if a node is considered believable or normal lead. IOST is the native token of the ecosystem. Users can stake and trade IOST, and it serves as the medium of exchange for all transactions and commission fees. To sum up, the platform can currently handle up to 8,000 transactions per second without compromising security. The network is decentralized and has more than 400 nodes in the ecosystem. Cryptocurrencies are also highly volatile, so your cash can go down as well as up in the blink of an eye. As always, you should never invest in something you don't understand. What are your thoughts about IOST? Would you use or invest in it? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please tab the subscribe button 